Well. I'm Rick Johansson, and this is Iron Echo Design. How to export to PNG is the focus of this Inkscape tutorial. I'm also going to answer a common question that comes up. This is from AA Gamer. How to export exact size? Like, it changes the size when I export. I don't know why. Or Slick Rick says, export PNG for print on demand when I set the DPI to 300 the image settings get too large. Exactly. I've seen the questions come up in the comments for months. Here's one more from Al Cash. I'd like to ask about how to export 300 DPI for image without changing the size on Inkscape. So I looked into it. There is an actual issue, but first we'll do the very easy basics. How do you export something? So you're new to Inkscape. I wanna save it. You go to File, Save As, and it lets you save your Inkscape file and the save as type is SVG, SVGZ, SVG zip zip. I don't see PNG. That's a very common file format you might want to use. I also don't see JPEG here. So we cancel out of that. How do you save as a PNG? Well, you don't save it, you export it. As a baseline beginner example, go to File, Export, and you'll see the export menu pop up. There's a lot of things going on here. I'll break it down for you. For beginners, start with single image. Make sure you're on the page tab. Don't worry about these configurations. This right here is the preview menu. It's gonna tell us what do you have on the page. It looks like I was working on this exercise where there's a black shape here. And you can see it move in the preview menu. You can also tell where the page is empty it will be transparent. So the PNG we're going to export will look like the size of the page with transparency on this part and a black rectangle if we do it like that. Why don't we move it down here because I'll do the export and I wanna show you how the transparency comes out in the final product. I'll click off of everything just to be safe. And at the bottom of the menu, this over here will let you choose what type of file you're gonna export. You can do SVG, here's PNG, JPEG, PDF, I will select PNG. Now to set your DPI under image size, the width and height are based on whatever your page is set to and the DPI you can enter. The default is gonna be 96 DPI, but for a lot of things you're gonna be using your designs for outside of Inkscape, a good habit is to have it at 300 DPI down here. This area right here, when you click on that, that's going to say, where do you want this PNG to go? Where do you want to actually export this new file? Double click on it. Here's the folder I'm actually using to make this video. It's on my desktop. It's called export to PNG. Down here, file name. I think a lot of designers have the habit of just banging something in there, but why don't you call it something you can remember in case you ever have to go find it. Video example export one. Save as type PNG save. You'll see a mini menu come up here. Bit depth is a technical term that describes how many bits are used in every pixel. You have some choices here. RGBA8 is what I have mine set to. If you're doing print on demand and you try RGBA16, you may come into some issues, but let me know in the comments if you have a preferred bit depth. I'm going with RGBA8, compression 8, the default compression 6, the best compression is 9. Eight will do. This physical DPI, you can try to force it at 300, but I found that doesn't actually solve the problem we'll talk about later. And anti-alias, I have it too. That has to do with the edges of objects. Are they gonna be pixelated and jagged? Two will be great for now. Hit okay. Thinks for a second and your file has been exported. I'll open up my folder. Here it is right here, video example export one. I'll click on it. This is the PNG. So here is the black opaque part. This is the transparent part right here. See, happy coincidence. All right, that's how you export the page area. What if you just wanna export one item? Let's say it's this piece of design work. On your export menu, rather than be on page, move over to selection. Same as before, you have your preview box. DPI, I have it 300. I'm choosing PNG as the export format. Click on my where to folder. Name it something I can find again. Save as type PNG, save. Nothing changes on my mini menu, okay. And here it is. We made this in a previous video if you actually wanna see how to wrap text around a corner. And let's move on. Let's go to the big question and I'll show you the solution. 
For some reason, the presets, when you export them at 300 DPI, they stay true. But if you do a custom size, for example, here's a popular print on demand service. The question I get a lot is the 4,500 by 5,400. These pixel dimensions, let me actually show you what happens. All right, here's my 4,500 pixels by 5,400 pixels. This is exactly what happens. If I go to do file, export, Everything looks okay right now. Page, I'm at 300 DPI, but my export dimensions are way off. If I choose to send this out to a PNG, it won't be accepted by the print on demand company. It's too big, not the right size. But if I change this to 96 DPI, there are the proper pixel dimensions. It's a mystery, but there's a solution. Let me show you. If you're in a rush, all you need to do is take the desired pixel dimensions. Here's the width 4,500. Multiply that by 96 and divide that number by 300. You get 1,440. Same for the height, 5,400 times 96 divided by 300, 1,728. Let me prove it and then I'll show you why. Here's our beautiful artwork. We'll go to File, Document Properties. We change the page to 1,440 for the width and 1,728 for the height. Stick my artwork back in there. Now watch this, file, export, there it is. 4,500 by 5,400 DPI 300. I'm on PNG, we'll send it, we'll call it proof of concept. Save, same as before. It's gonna think this time because I have so much action happening there. I actually did a tutorial on this type of design as well. This is done by using a live path effect called stitch sub paths. Pretty cool. I use it for backgrounds like this. There it goes. Here we are back in my folder proof of concept. If I right click it, we'll do properties, details. There it is 4,500 by 5,400. That will be accepted at least if they have those requirements. You want to see why? It's because of math. Here's the formula. If you want 4,500 pixels at 300 DPI, we're trying to solve for how many pixels should we tell Inkscape at 96 DPI. Does anybody remember this from algebra? To solve for X in this scenario, you want to cross multiply. So it'd be 300. Let's try something different. I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna use my phone. <laughs> I wanna hold the phone. Can you see this okay? Cross multiply, so X equals 4,500 times 96 DPI over 300 DPI. The DPIs cross out, and there's the math I had up earlier. The number of pixels you wanna enter into Inkscape will be the desired pixels times 96 divided by 300. <laughs> Is anybody still watching?